Hi, everyone. I am interviewing Nick here today, and Nick is a trainer at Dynamic Bodies. Um, Nick started just before COVID, probably a few weeks, right? Yeah, yeah, I think it was February, like beginning of February, I think, maybe? Yeah, so you didn't have too much time working with us before, uh, before we had to close down our doors, um, but you've stayed really supportive and really amazing, so thank you for that. No problem. Um, Nick, you have a lot of experience in training yourself and even doing fitness competitions and stuff like that, right? So yeah. I really want wanted to do this interview today to um, really gear it towards young men. So boys and young men who are interested in doing a couple of different things. So some who are looking to build their self-confidence and self-esteem. And as we know, working out will help with that and give them the confidence, you know, back to school is a month away. So, you know, just want them to feel confident when going back to school. Um, and then there's the other end of it where those, the athletic boys who have, haven't been really in their sport over the last few months, um, who want to build, who want to create some more power for their game. And then, and then of course, there's the young men that want to build their body and gain mass, right? Because we know how difficult it can be for some young men to gain mass uh, yeah. when they're really, really lean. Um, and then some need to lose some weight, right? So it's kind of like a well-rounded conversation about how we can do that for young men. I think you'd be a really great role model just because of the journey that you've been on. And so I just wanted to share that with people. Um, so if you're okay, I'll ask you some questions. Sounds good. Okay, so perfect. perfect. Okay. So Nick, when you started um, training, so when you started fitness, how old were you? Oh, um, when I first got my first gym membership officially, it was, I was 21. 21. And so how old are you now? I'm 31. You're 31. So 10 years ago, you started training. Yeah. And you've done a lot for your physique in 10 years. <laughs> you know what I look back and like, especially that first year, and I was basically the typical beginner who didn't know what to do and was even at, at the point where and people were like, no way. I was actually like, confused and scared to go in the gym. Like, I kid you not, I was actually waiting for one of my coworkers if he was asking me to go in um, or I, like if he was going to like go there because I wouldn't do it until like, you know, getting that little bit of confidence. So you were really nervous and intimidated to go into the gym on your own. 100%, 100%, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure a lot of boys and young men feel that way because when you don't know what you're doing, it can be very intimidating, right? So you were 21 when you started doing that and you were going into your workouts with your cousin. Was it your cousin you said? No, this was uh, one of my coworkers oh, okay. um, when I was actually like working in the, uh, the restaurant industry. Oh, okay. You work in the restaurant industry then. Yeah. So then when you began working out, what did you start with? Um, the typical, uh, well, at the time I was like overweight um, kind of the skinny fat. So I was doing, I just assumed everything was about cardio and trying to, um, you know, just focus on burning more calories instead of just like, um, you know, weightlifting and everything we know now kind of thing. Yeah. Trying to increase your metabolism. So you started with cardio. Oh yeah. Yeah. And then you were doing your cardio and you're like, hmm, I want to see some different changes with my body. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, actually my coworker was showing me like how to do dumbbell press and then how to do like the machines and whatnot. Um, and I just, I remember this, like it was yesterday. I was so impressed with him by doing forties. Like, Whoa, this guy's like going really, really heavy. <laughs> and now I'm looking back like, wow, like <laughs> that was so long ago. Like, yeah. You know, I'm not going to mention what numbers I do because it's not about like the the um, that, but it's uh, it's interesting to see like you know, well how much you've progressed along the way, right? Yeah, and, yeah. And, like you know yeah. that was really great at the time, and it was great at the time, but to see where you, you can come, like where yeah, where yeah. you progressed to, right, which is pretty awesome. So, um, what motivated you to actually start working out? 
Oh, <laughs> this is a story uh, I've probably said so many, so many times, and I absolutely love it. Um, I remember meeting my cousin at his place in Calgary. Um, this was when I was like, just on the tip of like being, you know, overweight. Um, again, skinny fat, so I didn't really show um, a whole lot because I was like, you know, long and right. ectomorphic. So, yeah. Um, but I remember chopping vegetables because they always got me to cook because I was the guy with the uh, culinary degree. Yeah. And um, <laughs> my cousin looks at me. He's like, "Look at you! You you you're so fat!" It's like my stomach was sitting right oh there. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and I'll never forget it. And to this day, like I always bring it up, especially when he's there. And yeah. And then he'll say like, "Well, I mean." it helped him out it's now right. he's helping other people to do it so like it honestly became that like that little bit of like i call it like the the pain the the real big pain and like their x factor why yeah. we start and yeah i'll never forget that so that was a big Factor. Yeah, I think like those types of things can really hit you hard and they can be really insulting. But at the same time, if you take that type of, I'm going to say criticism um, and work towards a positive thing, you'll get a good result, right? Like it's, people are not going to say the nicest things, unfortunately, and people are honest, too honest sometimes. But sometimes they do it because they, that's the way they feel they're going to get you to help yourself, right? Mm -hmm. And in your circumstance, it did, right? Mm -hmm. It got you, it threw you into fitness, right? It threw you into working on yourself. So, yeah. you know, it, it, uh, it benefited you, fortunately. Um, so that's kind of a, you know, I like that story because it's really relatable. I think that so many of us get insults and... Um, from our peers or our family and we don't take it necessarily the best way but if we just work with that and just make ourselves better from it right instead of okay. taking it to heart all the time because a lot of the times it has to do with your health mm -hmm. and your self-confidence and I think um, for anyone but young young men and boys having that self-esteem and self-confidence is just huge absolutely i even noticed when i was like i i used to play basketball and the coaches that the the good coaches that were like hard on us and like um had the expectation whatnot like yeah. i learned way more than the ones that um you know just kind of like sugar coating and all right. this kind of stuff because i just feel like um you know <laughs> it's it even like comes back to like those friends it's like the the friends that you um they're going to tell you what you don't want to hear not what yeah. you want to hear kind of thing yeah, so come yeah. Back to that, you know? but in know like obviously in in a way that's going to be like that's going to work for that person because everybody's personality is different of course so. that's right yeah so now you've been working with boys like since you started with me we've been having you work with some young guys and you've had as young as 10 11 12 kind of age group and mm -hmm. then you've had 18, 19, 20 year olds, right? And soon we'll have a couple of 30 year olds starting with you too. So really it's met, like you can work with anybody, obviously you have the skills to work with anybody. Um, but I really want to kind of get this out to parents of young, young boys and young men, because I know that they're looking for somebody to a look up to have a role model, um, to teach them how to do it right. And that is the most important thing. Teach the boys how to do it right, how to do it properly so that they don't injure themselves, so that they're not working their butts off and not getting the benefits of the, of the workout. So you have um, both. You have the knowledge of nutrition because you've done it yourself. And I wish I had that before and after picture to show here on the screen, um, but I'll definitely post that because it really is incredible. Um, so you have the knowledge of nutrition and then you have the knowledge of fitness. So it's a really great combination um, and a really important combination for them to learn and to grow and to become self-confident and fitness lovers, right? Uh, absolutely. And it's about health, really. It's, it's, it's about health. So um, now we've been working with some boys and our, our goal is to work with many more boys and young men and just get them to 
grow a love for fitness, mm -hmm. gain some self-confidence, gain some self-esteem so that when they go out there in the world, they feel good about themselves, right? A lot yeah. of kids right now during our COVID situation are on their couch and they're not leaving their whatever they're doing, they're gaming and stuff. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's time for them to get moving. Um, so I think that you'd really be a great person to help them do that. So I just wanted to highlight that to people and show them that your skills. Um, and yeah, so we open up on Monday. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. So exciting. Yeah. And yeah. we've got lots of classes in line for you for August. Um, we still run our boys class. So we're doing our boys class on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. And that's on your property, which is a large property. Um, and then we're going to, we're going to start the boys intro to weight training on the Saturdays. Um, yeah, so it's exciting. And then as we go along, like I know that some boys are personal training with you, private training with you, and we'll get more of that going too. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. And is there anything like you kind of, you want to add? Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say the, um, the one thing that I'm really, really, really excited about doing with, um, even like the, especially the weight training, like. Um, kind of teaching and whatnot is going to be like like three things that they're probably not doing which is like focusing on like time under tension like just slowing those weights down and so we're not getting those dangly arms swinging them all around right um, just so that they can actually like like kind of um feel the muscle a little bit better yeah um and then um using a little bit less heavy weights as well but also like um just helping them with um, the basic like habits of even at home too. Cause I've been talking about a lot about the, um, to them during the zoom classes and like little things like just putting that effort, effort into making your bed and like, right. um, you know, saying thank you to your parents, like even like opening doors up for things like those little positive things, like it's byproducts of everything else that's going to happen. That's and if right. we do that more than like, that's just going to create more positivity. And then these boys are going to end up like being successful with everything, not just like, you know, their transformation. So it's, it's really, really going to be exciting to, to see all this, like come together and yeah. in the, in this, like in the studio and change their, uh, not, not just, I don't want to say change their lives, but like um, really take it to new heights that they, they want always wanted to. Yeah. So essentially for some it will change their lives right if you get if you get a kid that has really low self-esteem like I've seen it with several of our clients and they start working out and they start feeling confident about themselves it changes things it it's a game changer for them they go back to school as a different person they go out there and can interact better with people just because of self-confidence right we all all male female you can be 10 you can be 50 doesn't matter um can use that self-esteem booster to just kind of, you know, be a little bit more confident in ourselves. And I think it equates to being more successful in our lives. Right. Absolutely. And I think the, the one thing that even on top is like having them move around actually gives them like, I mean, there's, there's kind of like a, having the blood, the blood flow moving around, like even for um, boys, girls, like anybody, like just moving, like will allow them to actually like, think better too so they're going to be yeah. more confident from that so well and it fights exercise as we know helps with anxiety helps yeah. with depression helps with energy levels so i think parents will be happy to maybe see their kids getting up and moving a little bit more too right Absolutely. yeah and getting off the uh that or like having your their necks down all that yeah stuff. exactly yeah i, I see them doing like once that. in a while in the, in the yard and i'm like all right do I need to like get a bucket for all the phones before we start classes <laughs> like, uh, like the teachers? Yeah. So my mom was a teacher. That's kind of why I'm I like that too. So. Oh, was she? Oh, cool. <laughs> Very cool. Okay. Well, Nick, you know what? That was awesome. Thank you so much. I think that, um, I think you're going to be really, a really great role model for, for the boys. I'm so glad that you joined our team. So so happy so that we get to start next week. Yeah. It's going to be exciting. Yeah. All back of us with our masks and our six feet apart. Yeah, <laughs> actually more than six feet apart. Well, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Ten, I think I measured it out to 10 feet, 10 feet to 12 feet apart in our classes. Like that's where I've, I've situated the, uh, 
the social distancing or physical distancing stickers. So we got lots of space in there. We got lots of space. We're good. Yeah. Yeah, no excuses, right? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay. Thank you so much. No problem at all. Thank you. Have a good night. All right. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.